Hey crafters, Lisa here from Fun Stuff Crafts. I'm coming to you from my camper this week. I had fun doing a project um, earlier this week that I want to share with you. But right now, I am actually on my first camping trip for the year. So lots of excitement around here. Um, just being able to get out and enjoy the outdoors. So this week, I am really excited to show you another idea for sublimation. And this is going to be using some mason jars that I found on Amazon to make some really cute um, cups for a gift that I'm making for um, a family friend. So can't wait to share the idea with you. Um, just show you what is out there and what is available to supplement on. And hey, if this is your first time stopping by my channel, thanks so much for stopping by. Make sure you click on that subscribe button and click on the bell and YouTube should alert you each time I upload a new video. We try to do it every Friday. That's why I call it Inspiration Friday. Just looking for different ideas to inspire you guys to make things. So give me a second. I'm gonna get my camera angle changed <clears throat> and I am gonna join you in Design Space. And the first thing I'm gonna show you is how I put my design together. And then I'm gonna show you how you can supplement on these cool mason jars. So we're going to start out in design space and I've already put together the design that I want to use for this project and each of these elements that I have here are all part of Cricut Access. And so what I've done here is I've picked out a cute daddy dinosaur and a cute little saying here um, for daddy's juice. What we want to do right now, these are set up, as you guys can see over here on this side, these are all set up as a print then cut individually, okay? What we want to do is we want to use the flatten feature so that we're going to flatten these all together and prepare them for our print job. So I've already sized out exactly the size I need and a three and a half inch size was the perfect size for one side of my mason jar. So I'm going to go ahead and select flatten here and you can see that all of those elements all turned into one print then cut item. Okay. If I hadn't done that, I want to show you if I go over to my make it screen, I want to show you how everything is pieced out separately and we don't want that, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and hit my cancel, and now let's go back over to my daddy, um, daddy's dynamite, and we can do the same thing. But before we do that, I wanna duplicate one of my um, dots there, because I like to add a little extra into the design if I've got an area open on the cup. So I'm just gonna go ahead and duplicate that, but I'm gonna come back up and I'm gonna grab this design and I'm gonna hit the flatten feature, okay? So now I have got this design that's at three and a half inches. I've got this other design for the other side of the cup at three and a half inches. And then I've got these extra dots that I can use um, for um, adding in. Now, another fun um, thing that we could do is if I change this back to just a basic cut, okay, all of a sudden my contour, and I hope you guys can see this on screen, there's a contour button down below and it's going to bring up all of my dots, okay? So if I want to get rid of these dots here, this is just another feature in Design Space that you can do to get rid of elements of a design, okay? So if I hit my X here, now you'll see that I've only got the two sections, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and change the color of those to match, and you can see Design Space already knows what colors I've used, so that's what this selection up here is. I'm gonna go ahead and click on that again, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn this back up here to be a print then cut standard, okay? So now it's gonna print for me. So I've got my elements of my design all ready to go. If I come over here to make it now, okay, 
it's going to have my designs here and it's got a second one over here because everything couldn't fit. Now this is one of the disadvantages of using design space for making designs for your cups is you are limited on the print feature to what will print in this standard box. Okay, so I do use both design space if I'm doing a smaller design or I use Canva for my um, designs. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and hop over um, to the print part of it. But before I do it, I want to show you a couple options. Um, you could switch this to mirror image right now and then you do not need to worry about it in your printer settings at all. Okay. Or if we leave it alone, I can come over here and I'm going to hit my continue button and I'm going to say send to my printer. Okay. I'm going to turn off my bleed. Now these steps here in the printer section are really important for you to pay attention to. I'm going to turn off my bleed and then I'm going to turn on my system dialog and it's going to go out and it's going to look for my Epson 7210. Okay, and since I didn't use the mirror image feature in design space, there's a couple steps that I want to do here. First, I always like to turn mine to best quality. And then the second is on the layout, I'm going to um, flip it horizontally. That way, when I put the design on the cup, you're going to be able to read it. So you can choose that mirror image in design space over here or you can do it on your printer functions. It's whatever works best for you. So I'm going to go ahead and send this over to my printer and I'm also going to print for, uh, I'm going to print this other page and then I'm also got one that I'm going to go ahead and print that is for mom and then I will meet you um, in my dining room with my convection oven and we will get ready to put this um, mason jar all together. Okay, so we're ready to go. I got my printouts off of the um, printer and I'm actually making two cups. I'm making one for mom and one for dad. So I grab my scissors and just as I showed you guys on design space, remember the black line is all around here. We're going to go ahead and trim that off. I'm just going to cut that off. Remember, I use sublimation um, paper for this, and then I also have started using Cosmo ink, and I just love how the Cosmo ink um, is just such vibrant colors, so I can't wait to show you what it looks like. Now, you guys might have heard the um, buzz right there. I do have my convection oven right next to me and we are going to be placing these cups in the convection oven. Now, I'm sure you guys have all seen that Cricut has got their new mug press out and just some incredible cups that I'm seeing people make. Now, I will not be buying a, a mug press because I do everything in my um, convection oven already. Um, but I think if you have never done mugs, um, that the Cricut's mug press is a great idea. Um, but I think some advantages that the um, convection oven has is we can do multiple cups at the same time. There's lots of room in there for extra, um, extra cups. And so that is one big advantage. The other thing that I really like um, doing my sublimation in the um, convection oven too, is that you can do lots of different things you can sublimate. You're not just limited to the mugs like the mug press has you. Um, but you guys need to purchase what you know is right for your needs, okay? So now let's start to put this together and I will tell you guys, I just love these mugs. Look at this. Are these just the cutest little mason jar um, stainless steel? And I'll make sure I put a link down below. I picked these up off of Amazon. Got four to a pack. I've already made one 
And so I think it turned out so cute. Little dinosaurs on it. So I'll put that one off to the side. And now we're going to make one for mom and dad. So I'm going to be using my heat transfer um, or heat resistant tape. Really important to do that. I've got my design. I've got my shrink wrap. And you want to make sure you buy the heat resistant shrink wrap. Just basic shrink wrap does not work. Again, I'll put the links down below for you. And then I like to use a piece of laser paper, not standard copy paper, but laser paper, or you can use butcher paper. And I'll show you what I use that for. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put on my first design. And the first side is going to be mommy juice. And so one of the keys to sublimation is to get your ink adhered to your um, cup as um, tight as possible, okay? And so that's why I take my heat resistant tape. Now with the shrimp wrap, we're definitely going to get it um, in there too, but I just want to get rid of any type of air pockets I have, and I do that with my tape, okay? And I don't want a lot of this tape to be extra because I'm going to add those extra dots that we've got. So it's almost going to look like a full wrap um, on this. So I'm just going to go ahead and tape this. Um, and then what we'll do is we will put it, um, actually then we'll wrap a piece of paper around it and then I'm gonna put it in the oven. Now I've got my convection oven sat, set at um, 360 degrees and we are going to do it for six minutes is how long it takes um, for the sublimation to um, really adhere good. Now I've got a little bit of a bubble I can feel and so I'm gonna pull up my tape here because I wanna make sure that this is on tight really really important that it's on tight so really press it get all your air pockets out if you don't get your air pockets out what is going to happen is you're going to have shadowing your ink's still going to transfer but you're going to end up with some shadowing um, on your cup so just like to get that in nice and tight okay so there's my first side that's my mommy side i got to make sure i don't have my daddy piece here okay there's daddy's and then i got mamasaurus for the other side so i really want to kind of eat and see if i can center this as best as possible okay and i'm going to go through the same process okay i'm going to start on one side and i'm going to tape it and then i'm going to pull it as tight as i can and then I'm going to add that extra tape, okay? So we're getting that on nice and solid. And then here too. And then what I like to do is, oops, one more piece there, Lisa. Then what I also like to do is I cut those extra dots out, okay? And I'm going to put them down the side. So I'm not going to use all of them, I don't think anyway. I didn't on the first mug, okay? And what I'm gonna do is just, I've got that opening right there, you can see. I'm just going to place these right in there. that on the other side. That tape's running over a little bit, so I'm gonna lift that up. Okay, so now what I wanna do is I wanna take a piece, and remember you guys, this is laser paper, okay? I'm gonna take this and I'm just going to wrap. Because what I have found is sometimes the shrink wrap likes to stick to the mug, okay? And so this is my, just my little trick 
of making sure that we've got it all covered up, okay? So there we are, we're all covered up. Now what I'm gonna do is I am going to take my shrink wrap, and I've got a lot of shrink wrap here. I wonder if I can cut this one in half to save it. You know what, I'm gonna do that, you guys. I bought some extra long shrink wraps, and so these cups are not as tall as the skinny tumblers I've done in the past. So I'm going to, there we go, okay. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a heat gun, okay? And I'm gonna, just to be safe, you guys, I'm gonna put my heat resistant gloves on, um, just because this heat gun does get nice and warm, okay? And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start to shrink this paper around here, okay? And we wanna get all the air pockets out that we can, okay? Okay, so I got that all heat shrunk wrapped. I'm gonna get that in the oven, but first I'm gonna put together my second one so I can do them both at the same time. Okay, so I've got them both all done and I am going to set my timer here to be six minutes and I am going to pop these right in my little oven. I'll give you guys a closer up view of them in here and I'll join you back. I'll join you back after the six minutes is up. Okay, you guys, so my buzzer just went off. So before I open up my oven, I'm definitely gonna put my gloves on. Safety first. Remember, I just baked this at 360 degrees. So let's go ahead and take them out. I did put a towel down here on my table um, just because it's so hot. I'm gonna go ahead and cancel off my oven. Okay, so let's see what these guys look like. Daddy juice, hands off. My that shrink wrap, I didn't bring my paper all the way up, so it's being a little honor. I might have to take that over to the sink and do a little bit of scrubbing. Oh, he looks cute. Yeah, that shrink wrap. I'm going to take that over to the sink and get it all washed off. It's peeling off for me, um, but I should have brought my paper up a little bit higher. But you guys can see how pretty those colors are. Let's do the second one. taping was a pain, but it definitely helped not to get any um, ghosting image at all. 
Okay, definitely got to get the rest of this plastic off up here from the shrink wrap. And it is peeling off, you guys. It's just, I should have brought my paper up further. But look how cute that looks. So the whole idea for this project I had is, let me get rid of my garbage here. I want to show you really closely a couple other things that I have got that I'm putting together for a fun movie night package for this gift. So I use my Cricut on this project. I picked up these metal trays at um, TJ Maxx and I used my Cricut to do the family fun and then I did some epoxy um, and did an epoxy pour over the top of it so it's all waterproof. So the idea was is I'm gonna have these cute little mugs Okay, so I'll have these. These are still really warm. I don't want to put them in there quite yet. I'm going to put those in there. I picked up some cute popcorn bags. So I'm going to add that. I bought them a microwave popcorn popper and some popcorn. So I'm going to put together this all and I'll show you a picture once I get it all together after I get the rest of this plastic off but I just thought it was a cool idea. Um, so using my Cricut to cut here, um, doing some sublimation printing here, but just all kinds of different ideas that you guys can come up with um, for gifts. So I hope this Inspiration Friday has inspired you to try some sublimation. I will make sure I get this all cleaned up and I'm gonna give you a close up view of all of this. Thanks so much for joining me today. And here is our finished mason jars along with that tray. And just a close-up view of each one of them. I just love this theme of the dinosaurs. And so these mason jars are definitely sublimation blanks that I picked up off of Amazon. I'll make sure I have all the links for you down below. I hope you get a chance to try out this fun project. And if you're looking for more DIY type projects, don't forget to check out my blog at funstuffcrafts.com.